everybody, I have a rubber band with me because today we're going to do rubber banding of sorts in today's game, Knuckles Chaotix for your 32X. So let's go ahead and take a rubber band, put it on Knuckles Chaotix. Let's go ahead and put Knuckles Chaotix in my Sega 32X and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Knuckles Chaotix was published by Sega and released in 1995. The manual opens with the following. Carnival Islands in Chaos. Tomorrow's the big opening day for Carnival Island, a huge amusement resort with the latest in high-tech rides and games. As guardian of the island, it's Knuckles' job to make sure nothing goes wrong before the grand event. Unfortunately, the evil Dr. Robotnik has other plans. He needs fuel for his latest diabolical devices. And the power emerald that supplies electricity to the entire island fits the bill perfectly. His awful new invention, the Combi Confiner, should help him get rid of that annoying echidna and his friends. When Knuckles returns from patrolling the far end of the island, he discovers that Dr. Robotnik has imprisoned all of his friends, Espio the Chameleon, Mighty the Armadillo, Vector the Crocodile, and Charmy Bee. After he chases the doctor off, Knuckles discovers that he can rescue one friend at a time by using ring power. Only the power that sparks between the rings holds the two partners together like a magical rubber band. Never held back for long, Knuckles finds that with a little teamwork, he could use the stretching and snapping action of the ring power to double, even triple the partner's speed. And they need all the speed they can get. As Dr. Robotnik drains the power from Carnival Island, everything on the island begins to break down. Robotnik must be stopped, or by tomorrow morning, the morning of Carnival Island's big opening day, the Grand Amusement Park will lie in ruins. Knuckles Chaotic is a Sonic-style platformer for one or two players. Although the game shares a lot in style with the previous Sonic games, it introduces a new element. The two characters on screen are connected by a rubber band-like ring power. This takes a little getting used to, but the game does have a tutorial mode to help you do so. For the basic controls, C jumps, B causes the computer control partner to stand still, which can be used to activate switches or released to fling the characters at fast speeds, and A calls your partner to you at the cost of 10 rings. B can also be used to pick up and throw your partner, and down and C can be used for the famous spin dash. There are no lives in the game, but if you have no ranks and are hit, you will temporarily lose your partner. If you are hit with no partner, you must restart the level. You can go into negative ring territory by calling your partner when you don't have at least 10 rings, but if you go over negative 99 rings, you must restart that level as well. Even though the game features Knuckles, you don't have to use them, and during the game you can use a claw game to pick a partner. The different characters all have unique qualities. Knuckles can glide by holding down C and climb walls. Vector the Crocodile can do a power boost by pressing C in midair and can also climb walls. Mighty the Armadillo can slide down walls and jump up or kick off of them using the C button. Charmy B flies and hovers instead of jumping, and Espio can run on walls and ceilings. There are also potential partners that tend to do more harm than good. Heavy the Robot weighs you down, and Bomb can explode. Together, you and your partner must get through five stages, each with five levels. These are selected in a pressure luck game show style. One level at a time, and your progress can be saved either manually or automatically. How long you take to complete one level of the stage can affect the time of day the next level takes place at and can alter the level. Throughout the levels are various items to collect and monitors, including super rings that are worth 10 rings, a combine ring, which combines all your rings into one ring that will be loosed when you get hit, speedy power sneakers, shields, invincibility, swaps that temporarily changes you and your partner, change which temporarily changes who your partner is, and the ability to grow and shrink. Hidden in the levels are bonus stages, which can be entered if you have at least 20 rings. In these bonus stages, your rings act as the timer, but you can collect more rings as well as the ability to choose your next stage or partner without dealing with the random chance method. At the end of most levels, if you have 50 rings, you can enter a 3D bonus stage, similar to Sonic the Hedgehog 2, where you try to collect one of the six Chaos Rings. Once again, your rings act as a timer. If you fail, the next time you enter the bonus stage, you will try the same one again. At the end of the fifth level of every stage, you will face a boss. Beat all five and you will enter a final battle where the first phase once again uses the pressure luck style of gameplay. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy! The final ending screen of the game depends on if you collected all six chaos rings or not. If you didn't, it appears you're still doomed despite beating the game. What a bummer. 
Gradually speaking, the game is nice and colorful, and it is a step up from your typical Genesis Sonic game. The game also sports a very nice soundtrack. Family friendly wise, the game received a kids to adult rating when it was released, which would be like getting an E for everyone rating if released today. Currently at PriceTrine.com, the game has a value of $76 loose, $128 complete, and $250 new. So what did I think of Knuckles Chaotix? It's a solid game that I enjoyed playing through once, but it doesn't quite live up to the gameplay of the original Sonic the Hedgehog series. The rubber band mechanic has a learning curve to it, so I'm glad they have a tutorial, but at the same time, it can be minorly frustrating, hampering your speed and the ability to easily explore levels like you could in the early Sonic games. I also felt the level design was a little lacking. At times, the levels are too big, knowing where to go is not always clear, and there isn't enough change in between levels from the same stages and doing five levels of the same large stage that mostly feels the same is a little bit tedious. I really wish they changed up the levels and stages more and lowered the number of levels in each stage. It may sound like I have a lot of gripes with the game and I kind of do, but at the same time it's not a bad game. It's actually a little bit of fun, but it doesn't quite scratch the Sonic itch on the 32X. Strategically, I also think releasing this game instead of a more traditional Sonic game for the 32X was a mistake. I'm not saying this game shouldn't have been released, just that the 32X really needed a true Sonic game first. Knuckles Chaotix is a good supplemental title, but it's not a pillar title that you could use to sell the system. So where am I going to rank Knuckles Chaotix? It may not be the best game on the 32X, but it's still going to be in my current top 5. I do like Star Wars Arcade more at 3, but I will put this over Virtual Racing Deluxe at 4. So out of the 10 games I've now ranked for the 32X, Knuckles Chaotix is gliding into the 4 position. Knuckles Chaotix is a decent game, but it doesn't quite reach the level of the original Sonic the Hedgehog Sega Genesis games. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. Check out some of my many other videos and sign up at patreon.com slash gamer just like Michael T. did to support the show and gain access to exclusive perks. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care, especially when choosing a partner.